Hello, I'm Michael from Ivanhoe Cycles. I'm going to be showing you how to remove disc brake pads from a cable operated disc brake and then replace them again. The first thing you need to do is remove the front wheel. This is a skewer type, so you just undo the lever and unscrew the right hand side. Once it's clear of the dropouts, the wheel will just come out. Once the wheel is removed, you can see a split pin that runs through the top of the discs, the top of the disc pads. Just close the end of the split pin so that it will come out of the body. The pads will then be removed out the front of the caliper itself. With the pads, you have two pads and usually a spring in between. When replacing them, put both the pads on the spring, slide them back through the front of the caliper, put the split pin back in again, The split pin needs to go through all, all three components, the spring and both pads. Once it's through, you just open the end of the split pin again, which retains the pads and stops them from falling out. All that's left to do is replace the wheel. When you're putting it back in, make sure the disc isn't jamming into the pads themselves. Locate it back into the dropouts. Normally you do this on the ground so that the wheel sits straight up in the forks there. I'm just holding it with my knee because it's easy in the stand that way. So there you have the disc pads changed, they still do need adjustment, but that's for another video. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, come and see us at Ivanhoe Cycles.